Hey, welcome back to creativehomemovie.com. I'm Scott Markowitz, and you're watching part two of our camcorder buying guide. In our first installment of the camcorder buying guide, you learn that there's three basic types of camcorders to choose from. There's the basic, the budget, and the all-out ultra-cool camcorder. Woo! So at this point, you should realize which kind of camcorder you're shopping for. Uh, basic? No. Ultra-cool. Yeah. But what's the next thing you should know? Well, friends, I'll tell you. You're going to need to decide if you need standard def or if you want high def to really choose wisely you need to know the difference between the two. To explain this, I'll need to show you how your camcorder acquires an image. A camcorder works kind of like a paper shredder, except in reverse. Your paper shredder takes a full sheet of paper and it turns it into little shreds of paper. Your camcorder takes little pieces of light and stitches them all together to make a big image. Have I lost you yet? Just stick with me, okay? Just stick with me. We're gonna get through this. A camcorder uses a lens to focus light onto an electronic plate. The plate has tiny light sensitive zones that in turn translate the color and intensity of light into a video signal. When we're talking about the resolution of your camera, we're talking really about the number of individual picture elements that make up the image. It's like when you're looking at a newspaper. If you go real close, you can see that they're made up of just small halftone dots. But when you're far away, it looks like a real photograph. A video image is comprised of little dots of light instead of little dots of ink. And these little dots of light are called pixels. The resolution of your camcorder is the number of pixels tall it records times the number of pixels high it records. Camcorders typically record in one of three resolution sizes. Standard definition cameras shoot an image that's 720 pixels across by 480 pixels tall. High definition cameras shoot in one of two sizes, 1280 by 720 or 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. So now that you understand the difference between standard def and high def, which one should you choose? Well, if you don't have a high def TV, you probably don't need a high def camcorder. If you do have a high def TV and you want to watch your home movies on that TV, then by all means get a high def camcorder. But keep this in mind. If you want to edit your home movies on your home computer, then you're going to need to have a really beefy, fast processor, and you're going to need a lot of hard drive space to work with high definition. So if you want to edit your home movies on your computer, then you might want to save resources and stick to standard definition. But hey, if you've got a really cool computer, there's nothing stopping you. Stay tuned next time for part three of our camcorder buying guide, where I talk about all the different formats of recording media. Let's see, you got your hard drives, you got your mini DV tape, memory stick duo, DVD RAMs, you got your DVD Rs. Dude, I'm not kidding. You know how a paper shredder works, right? You take your documents, you stick it in there, and then it shreds it up. Are you kidding me?